Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna start working on my new collection called Edna. A couple of weeks ago I posted the video of this on my Facebook page. If you are not following my Facebook page, there will be a link in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out, you know, to stay tuned to the news and stuff. So, as promised, I'm starting to work on it and uh, there will be, as you can see, one bracelet, two necklaces, pair of earrings, uh, I have a small ring to go with it as well. Just a second, it's somewhere. Here's the ring. I didn't include it here because this ring will be a totally different uh, tutorial because you can see all they have, this Edna charm, this one doesn't have. It's the, uh, I called it Edna as well because it's the same part as you start working on this uh, charm but turned into a tiny ring. So this will be also Edna tutorial, but I, I'm not including in this one. The reason for that is today what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make the charm. I'm gonna make it separate tutorial because as you can see, all they have is the same charm. I don't wanna be doing this charm in every single tutorial. So first we're gonna make the charm today. And then in four separate tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to make the bracelet, how to make the long necklace, how to make the short necklace, and how to make the earrings. So. Once you're done with this tutorial and you think you want the whole collection, before I continue with my other tutorials, you can go ahead and make all these charms ready. As you can see, you will need six pieces for the whole collection. One for the bracelet, two for the long necklace, one for the short necklace, and two for the earrings. So all we're gonna do today is just create this charm. And then in separate short tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to make them into different things. So as you can see, I made them all in like dark teal green. It's a really gorgeous color. It's a dark day, very cloudy, so you can't really see, but oh my God, it's a really gorgeous color. It's like a teal matte green with the fire polish and embellished with like gold 50 nose. So the look is very rich and look how bracelet looks. Isn't it gorgeous? And this necklace is long, it's like a tie, so basically you can make it short, long, or you know, just put it around your neck as a scarf. This is a short necklace with a tiny embellishment here with the fire polish as well, and then pair of earrings, which are all in golden green. So to make this charm, I'm gonna be using different color for the new collection. I'm gonna be using turquoise. So this pastel turquoise, once I've finished with the tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and make six of it. So I'm ready for the next tutorials. To go with the fire polish of this color, I'm gonna use another turquoise, 11 -0. That's instead of that teal green. And then I'm gonna be using same gold. So fire polish is 4mm. The main color is 11 -0 Toho. And the, uh, for the embellishment, I'm gonna be using 15 -0. I'm gonna leave all the codes for the new charm we're gonna make and for the charm I already made in this old collection, so don't forget to check it out. I'm also gonna leave all the quantities you need and you know all the materials you need, so always check out the description because in the video I might forget something. So for, for the charm, we also need white Naimo if you're using same colors. If you're using darker colors or these colors, use black. You always try to have your a thread, you know, all, not same, but you know, you don't want to be sticking out too much between your beads. And uh, you know, it's all craw, and you know, in craw, your thread always sticks out. So I'm gonna be using white with these colors. And then you'll need beading needle size 10. You can use 12 if you have. I, I'm, I'm comfortable with 10. I don't really like working with 12 because it's so thin, you know, it bends really easily. And then you need scissors to cut the thread. So go ahead, get the materials ready. I think you will need about a yard and a half of thread, but take two just to be on the safe side. It's been a while I've done this and I forgot how much thread you need. So I'm gonna take two yards of thread and then we'll get to work. So I have all my materials ready. I have 20 fire polish and then I have my 11 O's. 15 O's are we're gonna use at the end to embellish our charm. And then I forgot to mention we will need sharp pick. Now this is optional. That's how I start off my craw. If you're already pro in craw and then you know how to start off, please do your own way. This way I just find it easier to show. Usually when I do craw out of camera, I don't use pick, but I found this way is best way to show on the camera what I'm doing. So I thread my needle with two yards. I don't usually measure, you know, I just take two wingspans. Usually it's two yards or two meters, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's and then one fire polish 
and then I'm gonna drop it down till the very end. I'm just, just gonna leave a short tail that I can sew in later. It doesn't have to be long. It's just to sew in. And then I'm gonna make three overhand knots. Usually when I start off crow, I make two, but because we have fire polish, uh, it kind of makes things difficult to set it on peak. It, if you do only two, it, come, it comes apart. So I'm gonna make three overhand knots here. So our beads stay in place. And the third one. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set it on a peak. Just hold the tail down. Then I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. And now it stays in place. If you do it with two, it keeps on moving around. I tried. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, take my needle through the first 11-0. And now this is the base of our craw. Usually you would have like a circle or square type shape, but because we add fire polish, it kind of makes things wonky, but that's how it's supposed to be, trust me. And then we're gonna pick up three 11 O's. Basically we're building the first wall now. Three 11 O's go through the first bead that our thread's coming out of. And then I'm gonna go through the second bead of the floor. Don't let the fire polish scare you. We're just doing the normal crawl. Pick up two beads, 11 O's, go through the side of the last wall we built and straight through the floor bead. And pull the thread. And then we're gonna go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two beads Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. And then we go through the last bead of the floor, which is fire polish. And pull the thread. Now it's coming off the peak. And just pull the thread. And then I'm gonna go up the side of the first wall. And then we pick up fire polish. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead, which is our fire polish. And pull the thread. And then we go up the side of the first wall. And connect the ceiling. Basically by going all through all the top beads. And that is our first craw unit. It looks wonky, but trust me, that's how it's supposed to be. That's because of the fire polish we use. And now we do the second craw unit, and this time it's easy. I can just hold this unit here. We pick up three beads, 11 O's, go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. To pull my thread. Go through the second bead of the floor. Pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the last bead of the floor, which is the fire polish, and pull my thread. 
go up the side of the first wall and pick up one fire polish go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bit which is our fire polish and pull the thread and then go up the side of the first wall and connect the ceiling. All I do is just go through all the beads that are on the top. That's 311 nose and the fire polish. And that, my ladies and gentlemen, is the second crow unit ready. I can just remove my pick now. Then I can just hold on to it. And then we do our th third crow unit. Pick up three 11 O's. Go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. Then go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the third bead of the floor. Pick up two beads. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. And now once you have two, three units, it's quite easy to go on. Go through the last bead of the floor, which is our fire polish. And pull the thread. Go up the side of the first wall. Pick up one fire polish. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. And then go up the side of the first wall and then connect the ceiling. And now we have three units ready, see? One, two, three. One, two, three. Three crow units. I'm gonna do it with you two more times and then I'm gonna let you continue because it's all repetitious. If you still don't understand, you can rewind and rewatch it because I'm doing repetitious here. Every unit is built the same way. The first one is a bit tricky because you know it's quite hard to hold on to, but after two, three units, it's easy. I'm gonna pick up three 11 O's, go through the same bead my thread's coming out of, go through the second bead of the floor, pick up two beads, go down through the, uh, the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the third bead of the floor, Pick up two beads, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go through the last bead of the floor, which is our fire polish. Go up the side of the first wall we built. Pick up one bead, which is our fire polish now. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor bead. Go up the side of the last wall, of the first wall we built. And connect the ceiling. And slowly, it will start curving, look. Because we add fire polish on one side, it curves. And then I'm gonna do one more time with you. Pick up three 11 O's. Go through the same bead my thread's coming out of. 
go through the second beat of the floor, pick up two beads, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Go through the last beat, uh, through the third beat of the floor, pick up two beads, 11 nose, go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Go through the last beat of the floor, which is our fire polish. Go up the side of the first wall. Pick up one fire polish. Go down the side of the last wall and straight through the floor beat. Go up the side of the first wall. And connect the ceiling. we have one two three four five units ready one two three four five six six fire polish already used up now you must have 14 left i'm gonna let you finish it up on your own all you do is just continue adding uh crow units and you stop when you add your last 20 fire polish and then we're gonna meet and turn it into a circle so i went ahead and uh, added all 20 fire polish look it's gorgeous and what we do now we just have to connect it into a circle all you need is just a couple of 11 o's here so i'm coming i added the last 20 and then i connected the ceiling so i'm just gonna zoom in from here i'm coming out here i'm gonna pick up one 11 o i'm gonna go through the opposite bead on the other side so i'm coming out this 11 up, I'm gonna go up the opposite one. Pick up one 11 now, go back down the beat I was coming out of initially. It's just simple connection of crawl, just like you do in any crawl. See, it turns into a unit. And now I have to connect the inside. See? So I'm going to take my needle through the bead on this side, see, this one. Pull my thread. Pick up one 11 now. Go through the opposite bead on the other side, this one. And pull my thread. And then I'm going to connect it to this bead here. And then come back through this bead. And pull my thread. See? Looks like a unit on this side. Looks like a unit on this side. Now we have to connect this side. I'm going to go through this bead. Pick up one 11 now, go down the opposite bead, go through the bottom floor, bottom bead, and then straight through that bead. And then I'm up. So all three sides are connected. Now we have the top, but we don't add any beads here. We just connect this, this bead, this bead, this bead between each other. And then here you want to pull your thread nice and tight. See? Flawless connection. And now the reason we embellish with 50 nodes, I mean, it looks cute, first of all. Second of all, you're gonna hide all those threads, even that uh, uh, knot is gonna be hidden and look, it's squishy, right? <laughs> but this one is quite rigid. So that gives it a form as well. So. We are done with 11 nose. I'm gonna pick up some 50 nose now. Now 
here we're gonna start embellishing the inside circle first and that that I'm gonna take my needle through that neighbor bead there see I'm just going down and then go through that inside bead and all I do now pick up one 50 now go through the next bead and that uh, 50 now just stays in place pick up one 50 now go through the next bead pick up one 50 now go through the next bead pick up one 50 now go through the next bead So go ahead, add 50 nose, come back here, and then I'm gonna meet you there. See how beautiful it looks even just with one row. And now I'm almost at the end, I'm gonna pick up one last 50 now. Once I'm adding this one, you're not done. You wanna go ahead and go th with your needle through all those beads as many times as you can. With a 10, 10 size 10 beetle, you can do it probably one more time, maybe even three times. Three times is enough. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my needle through as far as I can here. Don't miss any 50 nodes on the way. You wanna go through all of them. So that's my second time done. I will try to do it third time because that will make your charm nice and rigid and keep the circle form. It can be difficult. You, if you want, you can go ahead and switch to size 12 needle here, but I'm still managing with size 10. And then when I'm done embellishing, I want to make sure I'm com coming out of the 11 or not 15. Huh? So I embellished it three times and that's already nice and rigid. So now I'm going to take my needle that we have to be coming out of 11. Huh? I'm going to go through that vertical 11. Huh? And then I'm gonna come out of this 11 over here. And on this side, we'll do the exactly the same thing. Pick up one 50 no, go through the next 11 no. Pick up one 50 no, go through the next 11 no. And you wanna do that all the way around and then embellish it as many times as you can, just like we did on the other side. And once you're done with this side, embellishing it and reinforcing, I'm gonna meet you here. I'm done embellishing both sides. Look at this. Love the colors. Now we're gonna go ahead and skip to the top. See, I'm coming out of the 11 -0. Go through that 11 -0 up. And go through the side 11 -0. Now I'm running out of the thread. Let's say I did that intentionally. <laughs> it's perfect time to show how to add thread in case you run out of thread while you're embellishing. 
what you're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, 50 knots as many times as i can and then what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cut the thread well let's go ahead and do it i'm gonna go ahead on the top side we add two 50 knots between the beads i picked up two 50 knots go through the next 11 now pick up two 50 knots go through the next 11 now pick up two 50 knots go through the next 11 now and all the way around i'm gonna add the 11 all the 50 knots around here don't forget you're adding two between each bead and then i'm gonna meet you here so here i'm almost at the very end i'm gonna pick up last two 50 knots and then go through the last bead and then go through several beads at the same time I, I still have enough thread to um, to reinforce it but let's say I run out of it what do you do I just remove my needle from this thread see the tail left I'm gonna pick up another thread thread my needle I left off here right I'm just gonna hold that tail down pick up the next bead just gonna leave a small tail here hold on to it or you can put a stop bead but I'm just gonna hold on to it and just continue on my way so I'm gonna I'm gonna embellish it twice as well go through all the 11 nos 50 nos don't skip any on the way isn't it gorgeous loving the colors The reason we're not adding any notes or anything because once you're done embellishing and reinforcing it this part is going to be so tight that your threads are not going to come out at all so don't worry about making notes or anything just reinforcing it going so i think i'm almost done with the second time I'm gonna do it another third time here. Now here's, I'm just gonna pull my thread here. Then go third time through all those beads. We're just gonna make it all nice and tight. It's already quite tight in the beads there but you want to do it as as long as you can even if you manage fourth time do it but I find three times is plenty So I think I'm done three times. I'm just gonna come out of the 11 0 I'm just gonna skip through here, through the next 11 0 See, coming out of the 11 0 pull my thread. Just get all those tails out of the way. Let's 
So I'm just gonna leave those tails, don't, don't worry about them. Now here, I have to skip to the other side. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my needle, see I'm coming out of the 11 0 go through the far polish, and then go through the 11 0 And now once you're on this side, you wanna go ahead and get rid of the tails on the side we're finished. All you do is just cut them because we reinforce them so many times that those threads are not going to come out. See, we are done on this side. How gorgeous it is. And all you do now on this side, don't mind the tail for now. Just get it out of the way. Pick up two 50 nose. Go through the next 11 now. Pick up two 50 nose. Go through the next 11 0 and all the way around and don't forget to reinforce it. And then once you reinforce it, we're going to meet here and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the original tail. So I added all 50 nose and reinforced it twice. So my thread's been through all those 50 nose three times already. So this is the thread I was working on. So I'm going to remove my needle, get rid of that thread, just cut it at the very base. And now I'm left with my original tail. This is the tail that we made the knot underneath. So you don't wanna cut it right next to the knot. So I'm just gonna thread it to my needle. And all I do is go through some beads. It's gonna be tight because you've been through all those three times already. But I'm here, I'm gonna go through the next 11 0 first and straight through some beads if I can. It's quite tight, so you have to be careful. Don't push it too hard. If you're not comfortable, switch to a smaller size of needle. But you don't really have to go far because our, th our, our beads is so tight now that even just going through a couple of beads will be fine. And now here I'm done. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the thread. It's never gonna come apart now. Look. So apparently you don't need two yards or yard and a half, you need three yards to finish it. So, but even I started with two yards, you saw how easy it is to add, to add the thread. And I went ahead and made the rest of the charms. Initially, I thought to make them all blue, like I did here, you know, I have a whole set with green. But in the process, I, I changed my mind and decided to make them all colorful. So here I had to make these two pairs same because I decided these two will make two gorgeous black earrings. Look at the fire polish I have here. Isn't it gorgeous? I usually don't like the combination of black and gold, but here I think it's an exception. It's just gorgeous. So this will be a pair of earrings. I already made up my mind on that. And these two will go for long necklace that have two charms as well. So here I used like crystal silver. So this is white for the long necklace and one of these will be a bracelet and one of them will be a short necklace. So yeah, look at this orange. They're all gorgeous. So and also it gives you ideas of what colors you want to do. So I have one, two, three, four, five different colors. But of course you can choose any colors you have in your stash, you know, you might just like different colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it was useful and I hope you like my charm. So stay tuned. Uh, I will start doing the bracelets and necklaces from, but I think I will stick in between those tutorials, some other tutorials, so you don't get bored of working on one thing. Like for example, next one, I want to make this bracelet. It's all three millimeter fire polish. Gorgeous, isn't it? So I think next tutorial I'm gonna do this and then, you know, get back to Edna and then, you know, try to stick in between different tutorials because even I get bored working on the same thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Feel free to share the tutorial with your friends if you have other uh, friends that do beading and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.